Okay, we're gonna get this Adidas London home team started. We promised some special guests, and today we're gonna to start close to home and check in with a few Arsenal players. First up on the Adidas London home team, we've got Arsenal women's goal machine, Vivian Medima, and Scottish winger come wing back, Lisa Evans. Let me check in on Vivian Lisa. I hear her in Scotland. How you doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> Lisa, how you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm, you know, I've got my um my two girls who are keeping me um really occupied. I didn't realise they made so much noise, but it's all good stuff. I'm learning to bake cakes and doing all sorts of stuff. What are you lot doing? We've made a lot of cakes as well, to be fair. What a lot of cakes. Seriously, you know, I've, I've been having problem. My sponge has gone wrong. It's too hard. My girls are being nice. I tried to make a chocolate cake the other day and, and it was very dry. What did I do? Was Did I put the oven too much? Or... I, I see you just add extra ice in. Seriously? Yeah, just add extra ice in. That's masking, Lisa, know. man. That's a, no one That's lying. You that can't mask. I've got to make a good sponge. <laughs> what have you been baking? Seriously? Banana bread. Well, a we, lot of banana yeah. bread. And what's the other thing again? The English thing? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Oh, Meatloaf. Yeah, I made a tea loaf, yeah. And just quickly with the, with the family, he's got to say to Viv, how's your family, everybody okay? Yeah, all good, to be honest. Like, you're obviously back home in Holland, so we FaceTime sometimes. Uh, I mean, my brother is just getting kicked out of the house to do the shopping, so my <laughs> mum and dad are quite safe at home. So, yeah, it's all fine. Like, it's obviously difficult right now to actually not be able to go home or not to even really see each other, mm. but that's just how, how it is right now, yeah, obviously. Yeah. And what about you, Lisa? How's it going with you and the family? Everybody okay? Yeah, we're all good. We're all fit and well. So, I mean, that's the main thing, really. Like they've said, it's hard, obviously, not seeing a lot of people. But, I mean, you know, it's the right thing to do and just to stay home and stay safe and keep everyone else safe. So What else has been happening with the fitness and everything? How you how you occupying yourself? It's, I, I, I can't imagine what it's like being a player in this time. I don't know how I would have coped. How are you coping mentally and physically? It's been hard, like it's really, honestly the hardest thing is missing the girls, we miss the girls every single day, we've been keeping in touch with them a lot, like our group chat's gone mental, but it's been really tough to be honest, isn't it? Like especially training wise, it's it's not the same obviously, not being in a team environment and it's like, just kind of, the motivation as well, just kind of every day it's like a new process, but I mean. We've done quite a lot We've though. done a lot, we yeah. We play tennis, we play football, like, well, Lisa's my personal trainer right now, so like, I'm, not she sure makes me go on the bike, we do conditioning we do everything you know what i was gonna say about the league you know you're chasing the league you know being in this environment what is it more anxious waiting because you know like city are doing what they're doing you hoping that someone slips up and so what, what's it like, what's that like you know chelsea flying how does it feel like waiting in this time i mean it's kind of just like obviously waiting even to yeah when the league starts again like um i think right now we're not really that busy about actually thinking what chelsea is doing or anything like it's just hoping that the league can actually start again that it's safe for everyone to go again um and then from there on yeah obviously like i still hope chelsea and Man City are going to slip up mm. well, it's hard, hard to even think about that right now though isn't it yeah. really it's just kind of getting back to training we're going to have to do like a mini kind of pre-season again to get everyone back mm. to a proper fitness and then take it from there really and I've got to say about the season as well, Viv, with the, you know, top goal scorer in the league. I was happy when I was scoring. I, I, I was scoring and if we didn't play well, I didn't really bother. But I've read somewhere that you said that, you know, I know people are going to give me stick for that. But I've read that you said that you'd rather be play an all-round good game rather than being that goal-hungry, I have to score, ah, goal, goal monster. Yeah, I think so, but I think that kind of comes away from the fact that I've never really been a nine. Like, I've always played as a ten. Uh, probably, like, the last four seasons I've been becoming more of, a, like, a nine. But I think just, like, for me, how I grew up playing, like, I love to assist people, I love to be part of the game, I love to have the game in front of me as well. So I think it's kind of just because I'm maybe not a number nine nine right. that I just don't really have that same feeling as, like, someone... Would, like someone like you would have, if that makes sense. Did you always score goals? Did you always like score goals? Because it seems to come pretty easy to you. So that's why, personally, I always wanted to score goals when I was growing up. And like, like I say, I got to a point where the selfishness just kicked in. It was natural for me. But like I say, you, you, somebody scores so naturally to not have that. Oh, it's all about the goal scoring. I think I'm, I'm I feel quite bad now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel quite selfish and bad. <laughs> no, it's 
good because sometimes I think I should be a bit more selfish and like just go for it. Like obviously, like I should say, like I enjoy scoring goals. Like I've always done that. Like I've always wanted to score goals, but um, yeah, it just wasn't like if I didn't score a goal for one game, but I assisted three goals, I was as happy if that makes yeah. sense. So. Um, yeah, what I say, like, sometimes probably the girls do say to me, like, oh, be a bit more selfish or, like, just go for a goal there instead of play it. But, yeah, that's probably something I'll have to develop in the, like, in the next couple of years. And Viv, in respects of the summer, because this is, like, one of the first... You're going to have a summer off now. I know it's been kind of enforced on you, but are you looking forward to that rest in respects of everything that's gone on? It's been so successful, you're never getting this kind of rest, the World Cup, all that sort of stuff? Yeah, I can't wait, to be honest. <laughs> I, uh, probably like the last six or seven years, I've not really had like a proper break. So I think uh, obviously this, like this period now, even like to actually reflect on what we've all done, like with the national team, like from the move to like buy into Arsenal, like it's quite fun to actually look back on that. But I mean, I also can't wait now to actually start again and to finish obviously this season, to go into next season and hopefully many, yeah, more good things yeah. are to come. I've got to say, Lisa, I've got to ask you because the first thing, Winger, wing back. Which which one which one do you prefer? Which one do you feel that you get the most out of yourself for, Lise? So hard. Like honestly for Arsenal, I love playing fullback. Um I never thought I'd say that literally. I think Joe put me there like two years ago. What was you was, before? Like, what was you before? Yeah, just right wing, like all the time like or left wing as well, to be fair, just winger. Um I even played in the nine a few times to be fair, but I mean um, nah, Joe told me when he first told me, I was like, no way, like, how, how has he seen me as a fullback? I can't believe it. I was I actually shell shocked. But then after probably about six months, I was like, I'm actually like really enjoying it. And what? obviously, like, today's football, the modern day fullback has changed a lot. Obviously, yeah. look at like, Trent Alexander Arnold and even Hector Bellerin, like, they're very much like forward thinking players. So it, it is really enjoyable. Obviously, I still love going on the wing. I actually love like mixing it up. Yeah. Um, because obviously this season I've played a lot as a winger as well. So, I mean, I enjoy both a lot, to be honest. Which one do you feel you learned the most from? Because, like, you said you started as a winger, played right back for Arsenal. Um, it's something that... I remember I used to tease Lee Dixon saying it's the easiest position on the pitch, especially if you're right footed. So many people say that. I've heard that sentence. Why did I say that? I just feel... Because you can see everything. You can see everything. You're on your strong <laughs> exactly. foot. Exactly. No, I know. I do get that. Obviously, you get the most time on the ball. You can see everything. It's always forward. You've always got a lot of space to drive into, but... At the same time, like physicality wise, it's obviously challenging. It's difficult to get up and down the pitch. And even like for me, learning like the defensive aspects of the game, like obviously I've got great people beside me, Leah Williamson and um, more experienced girls in the back line. But I mean, it's it's totally different. Obviously, you're the last line in defence. So, yeah. yeah, it's totally different, isn't it? And now like with the, the, the Olympics being suspended, I've read as well with you, Lisa, that you, you mentioned that you didn't feel you had a, a chance, maybe the GB team... You know, with this little break, do you think, what, what do you think? Is that something you're going to work towards? Is it something that you might be able to blast yourself into? No, definitely. Like, I definitely want to be going to the Olympics. I mean, what athlete doesn't, to be honest yeah. with you? Um, even regardless, like, Scottish. Could Welsh. you play centre-half as well, Lisa, do you think? <laughs> um, when I see Leah Williamson, I think, nah, probably not. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> That's good, not for me, I don't think. We'll see, no, maybe in a years time. No, the reason, no, the reason why I was saying is because it's the versatility and obviously G Team GB, they, they need versatility. So being a winger and a wing back, I'm just trying to throw in a couple more positions so as they can make sure that you get yourself in there. Yeah, yeah. Nah, put, up, put it on the CV. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm up for that. Me, you're a nine, you're a winger, <laughs> you're a winger. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I've got to ask you because obviously I'm looking for stuff to watch. What are you watching? Netflix on films and... <laughs> You make me watch Killing Eve. Yeah, Killing Eve watch is Killing Eve. awesome. Yeah, we've we've watched this like I swear we've watched quite a lot. We've watched a lot of like upbeat films. We watched The Blind Side the other night. That was good. Okay. I'd say more comedy. Right now you need to pick me up, don't you? I mean yeah. everyone does. All I can say, ladies, take care. Uh, look after yourselves. I'm hoping to see you soon. Thanks so much. Yeah. Really appreciate the time. Work, nice one, man. Thanks, Lise. Yeah. Thanks, Viv, because we're really cool mates. Keep baking, yeah? Keep okay. baking. I'll try. I'll try. I'm trying on my phone. Thanks, la thanks, ladies. Cheers. 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 Bye. Bye. Okay, next up. I wonder how Gunnosaurus is coping with isolation. Let's see what he's up to. Yes, Gunner. There's my guy, Gunnosaurus. Are you staying on me? Are you indoors, Gunner? I hope you're indoors. Wash, washing your hands. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Gunner, listen, I'm going to have to leave you, man. I'll speak to you again soon. I love you, but you know this. 
Nice one. Why am I shouting? Why won't I shout when I speak to Ganosaurus? <laughs> I, I love you, Ganosaurus. I love you, Ganosaurus. A leader on and off the field and a great recent signing for Arsenal. Someone that has put out some very important messages in the UK and Brazil during this difficult time. Representing the Adidas home team, David Luiz. Hey! hey legend! How David, are you, how are you, my friend? Very good, thank you. You? I'm very good, man. You look really good. well. You look really well. Are you well. at home or not? I am off to, oh, of course, uh, of course, all right, my friend. All right. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing some checking in on the, on behalf of the Adidas home team, man. I have to check in on the big man. I see you doing so many good things on Instagram with the with the fitness. How's your family, firstly? Because a lot of the Brazilian players have been allowed to go home, but yeah, still here, my so family how are the good. family? My family is good. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, God. Now in good situation, in, in good life, but... Uh, the global situation is not good. Yeah, we are not happy with this. We mm. are sad. Everybody's sad. So we have to do to take our precautions to 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 follow the guide the guidelines and uh, and to stay at home. So yeah. I just tell to my mom and dad to stay at home. Yes. Uh, to my sister with the kids. They've got to understand, dad, David. They've got to understand, David, how important this is. It it saves lives. I'm not sure people lives. are getting yeah, this message. It's so important, you know. My mom and dad, they live in the same road of my sister. Okay. And my sister don't allow my mom and dad to see the kids. That's good. You know? So that's good. It's good. That's hard. That it's hard. Good. She's very but good. It's good for the moment. And the, and if you want to, to really help for the big girls around the world, we have to do mm. our efforts. You have to, to respect uh, the rules. Yeah. And I think... Uh, is a big example for that. I have to ask you, man. I saw something on Instagram with this uh, this magic man in the mirror. What's this, man? What was you doing? How did you do this? It's my brother, bro. No way. <laughs> your twin brother. It's my twin brother. <laughs> i got to say to you, man, how is the your mental state at the moment being a footballer that when I look at you, you seem to be someone who's very effervescent, always on the move. You know, I see with your Instagram that you're constantly keeping fit, how are you coping mentally and physically to constantly be doing something that makes you feel like you're doing? The emotional side is very important. So I, I'm happy because also I'm really connected with everybody. I'm happy because also I'm share with yeah. them at least. That's why every day I'm trying to share a bit of my energy to help people. Do you do? Do you do? Do you train every day? Do they send you the schedule, or do you just do something every they day? They send. They send also for us the schedule. We have things to follow. We adapt. We adapt. We, I think uh, we are doing just keep doing what you uh, we are doing during all our careers is have discipline, eat well. Yeah. What about the food, David? How, how are you doing with the food? I love Brazilian this... food. <laughs> <laughs> how are you coping with the nutrition? To I'm, make sure I'm that trying you... to, to take one less meal during the day. Okay. So I try to get a very good breakfast. So I can have a very good breakfast, yes. and then I don't have the lunch time, and then I have the dinner, and then before night you have a tea. I have a so I trying to do that because if you have breakfast, lunch time, and then you eat something yes. the afternoon, and then during the night, and then before bed is gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> are you in, are you in touch with the other guys, Pablo, Martinel, everybody? Yeah, you, we, speak uh, each other. we speak each other. Yeah, we had uh, some meetings together to talk about. What you can do together, how you can train together, how you can discuss some uh, about now the world. You just had a meeting where everybody spoke how we can help uh, the government, the, the the social problems. So I think yeah, we are still in the connection is so good. David, I know you shared a coach, the same coach as Pablo Mar Pablo Mari with um, Okay Jesus. Yes. What kind of George um, Jesus? Yes, this, George Jesus. George that. Jesus. <laughs> how to say it again? How do... Jorge Jesus. Jorge Jesus. 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 Yes. Je... Because you know what I love about the Brazilian accent, and it's very difficult when you speak it's to a Brazilian difficult. person. Yes. It's to not try to talk like that. You know, not try to talk like Brazilian. We talk like uh, we are singing. Yes, that's what it sounds yeah. like. <laughs> that's what it sounds like, you know, what it sounds yeah. like. I was going to say about um, your coach, Jorge Jesus. Jesus, um, yes. 
what is he? What does he expect from a centre half? Because obviously you ke- you played with him, and what kind of player are we getting with Pablo Mari? Because I'm very excited for him. I saw him because, in an under twenty three no. game. I saw him at Boreham Wood. It's, he looks like a very good player, David. Yes, he's a very good player. He had the opportunity to work with one of the best coaches around the world. Jesus is very precise, tactical. He wants you to understand the football outside the pitch first. So he sounds like the kind of coach that's a little bit like Mikel, because Mikel Arteta seems yes. very, very the same in respects of his meticulous nature in making sure that everything's right. Do you think this is perfect for exactly. Pablo? Exactly, exactly. I think you understand very well, and exactly. Mikel is doing amazing. I mean, enjoy with his almost 30 years old to still learning and to still improving and to still uh, see how beautiful is football because yeah. every day change something more, change something more, something more and they, how a new idea, new philosophy can also improve me as a person, mm. as a player, as a leader or something more. You sound like you're like the way you're speaking. Is coaching something you like? You maybe as well one day? Yes. Definitely? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think... What would your future. team play like? Because can I just say before we go on to this question, I mean, yes. I've watched you at Crystal Palace um, this season and I think it's one of the best centre-half performances I've seen from a, from somebody in a very, very long time in respect of the way you brought the ball forward and the way you passed the ball around because they were playing so deep. Is that something that Mikel said to you? If this happens, then the, then the, the, the responsibility is for you to come and create. Do you, is this... I, I, I think it's, it's part of the plan. I think you have to understand before, we never talk about the, the goalkeepers using the foot. No. You remember that? Yeah. Good goalkeeper was the ones kick long. The more long is better. Yeah. Kick away. Now we start to evaluate the goalkeepers by the foot. Ah, he played well, he can build up of the game. Why? Because everybody understood. If you keep the ball, it's only one ball. Yes. So the team cannot score. You understand? Okay. You cannot risk, give the risk for them. So, Mikel also tried to, to make us to understand where to play, how to play. That's why I say, he gives the plan. If the team is like that, if the team is a low block, put the park in the bus there. Yes. How you can create? You have to take the responsibility to take some uh, risky pass or difficult pass. Yeah. Because if this pass arrives there, they're going to create an opportunity, going to score the game. If this pass don't arrive there, we can regain the ball quickly and still stand the attack. Stay in the area. Stand it there. So this, this is what is I like of... about the way you play, David, because when you play, when you come in forward the ball, you're not one of the centre-half that, that comes, comes like, oh, I'm going to do something. Then you stop and then you pass this sideways. You always, yeah. And then some of the pass straight through to Aubameyang, straight through to Ozil, taking the chance. I think, I think I have to give the opportunity for the best players to touch more. The yes. Ball. What position did I you play when you was very small, when you was younger? Number 10. Number 10? Yeah, until 16. What, who changed you? Why? If I tell you, I went to a competition under 17. I was in the bench. I went to a competition from Salvador Bahia to the south. Right. North to the south. You know how uh, how long you did? How long? How long? 72. Seven two hours by bus. You're joking. Yeah. So you went for this competition. We were having the competition. I was in the bench. We played three for three. Two defenders get injured in the first half of the first game. Right. I went for the coach. I say, now you have a defender. Say, <laughs> what the talk you are talking about? You play in the middle, number 10, number 8, <laughs> Massimo. What you talking about? No, now you have a defender. You can put me there. You see, I wish to play. Mm. And they also I knew after this competition they're gonna sack men players, they're gonna kick players out. I say I have to play. Yes. So I spoke to my dad, my dad said play. Survival. And then, in mid- and then I play in the middle. Yes. As I was playing Chelsea, you remember? Yes. Three? I remember. I yeah, in the middle, middle yeah. It was the first time I played as a defender. Nice. Because I play, I start to play from the back, it goes, 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 and then just change my life. After after this competition, after 10 months, I became professional. Mm. Wow. It changed my life. You, you wasn't afraid to speak up? I'm not afraid to try. I think people cannot have scared to try life. You're mm. just going to know if it tastes good or not. Yeah. If you try. It's like a plate with some food. 
People sometimes you give your food with the PVV. Yeah. Dang, I don't like. Yeah. But have you tested it? No. <laughs> and yeah. then? Oh, it's good. Uh, yes, yes. Life is the same. You see, you, we're looking at some, like the players, we see Richarlison, fantastic. You know, yes. we, you know we, we're seeing, obviously, Firmino and these guys, yeah. fantastic. But we've got, like, Gabriel and Martinelli. In respect, what, did, what do the people in Brazil think about how he's doing here? Are they very proud of him? Are they think that now he's going to go to... Now, now, now they're very proud. Now did you know before he came? Did you know about him before he came? No, I didn't know. To be honest, no. I heard something. He has some some a little boy in Ituano play very well because I know Junior Paulista yeah. and then uh, he's from his club. And then after that, I said okay. But when I saw him, I said whoa. Not just because of the talent as a footballer. Yeah. Especially because of the mentality. Yes. I yeah. think he 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 wants to improve. He wants to learn. He understands his, 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 the opportunity of his life. He wants to change yes. his status. You know, he Focus. wants to be part of yeah. the, the team. He wants to be part of the club. I think this is very important thing to players to understand today. What's it been like? Is the dressing room starting to... We're starting to feel this now. Where to, we're coming together with Mikel. What Mikel's doing. He's got players like yourself. He's got Bamiang who scores goals. He's got people who want to win. So, Mikel... He brings for the club a philosophy where everybody has to think for the best of the club. And the best of the club is to make the club shine again, like in when he was playing. So, everybody, it's not just players. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, every day has to breathe this oxygen, you know, this air. This club is to win. You know something? It's it's it's. I'm getting my my book. I'm getting goosebumps because to hear an Arsenal player with with a, a caliber of yourself um, speaking about Arsenal in that way, which Arsenal had to get back to this. We lost it somewhere. We we lost it. And to hear an experienced player, and it, it, and doesn't matter where mm, we lost and yeah. when we lost. Yes. What matters now? It to bring back. Yeah. So David, I got to ask you. You know, when it finally happens, you know, what we're, what we're going through now, when football does finally resume. And like I said, as long as it takes, I'm willing to wait because lives are at stake. But what are you looking forward to most when everything comes back to normal, fingers crossed? First, I want to check if everybody understood this social lesson. Okay. And then... After that, of course, I want to be in the pitch, doing what I love, making people happy. If you have, if you're gonna play this season until the end, I want to 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 try to be in the Champions League with Arsenal. Yes, and do the best what you have to do and what you can do for this club. So this is my wish. Nice one. Well, Dave, can I just say, listening to you speak there, it's made me, it's filled me with real um, joy to hear to hear a player of your calibre, like I say, speak like this about our club. is something that I've wanted to hear for a long time. I've, I thank you for the interview, and all can I say to you is, it's my pleasure. Hopefully, you and your family and everybody just stay safe, because yes, I want to see I want to see you in the flesh. Yes, you're gonna do, you're gonna do for sure. Thank you very everybody much. Everybody, stay safe, stay Go at home. God bless you, man. God bless, God bless you, too, you too, you and your family. God Thank bless you. Dave. Right, guys, I've got to go. Thanks for watching and being part of our Adidas London home team. We've got more catch-up scheduled, so stay tuned to Adidas London. Stay home, keep safe. Love and strength to all of you.